Hello, happy Memorial Day to you. Just wanted to give a shout out to your family uh, today and say hello, say a prayer for you and thank God for our nation, for those who have given of themselves over the years, their lives, families have sacrificed and we have great freedoms and liberties in our country, in our nation, and we should be grateful. Not perfect. We're working on it. But our prayer for our nation should go forth today, too, asking God to give us godly leaders. That's been my prayer recently. Lord, give us men and women who love God. They fear God. They love truth and they hate covetousness right out of Exodus 18. That's going to be our prayer in a moment. But I want you to have a safe day. Have a blessed day. Excited about church and all the good things going on. Getting back together here for those of you who choose to this coming Sunday. So a lot of great things. I want you to have a happy, blessed day. But I want to leave you with this verse in this prayer right out of the Psalm. Psalm chapter 33, verse number 10, 11, and 12. It's a key verse. Let me read it to us and then let's have a prayer together. It says this, listen to it. It's why it's so important to have God in our nation. And that's our focus for today on this Memorial Day holiday. 33, 10 through 12. The Lord frustrates the plans of nations. He thwarts the devices of the people. The counsel of the Lord will stand forever and his purposes to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Thank God for America. Amen. The freedoms we have. But will you join me for a moment? If you're near your family or something, join hands, take hands, or just bow for a moment yourself. And let's pray for our nation today. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bow our hearts today in gratefulness and gratitude for the nation in which we live. And Lord, we pray today that you would forgive us of our sin and our failures and our shortcomings, that you would forgive us of our sin and you would heal our land. Lord, give us godly men and women to lead us, men and women who fear you, who love truth, who hate covetousness. Lord, we pray that evil will be revealed and truth would be established in our hearts, in our homes, in our streets. So, Lord, I pray today for our nation and I bless every family today. Grace peace, provision, protection during this difficult season we're walking through that your grace would abound in their hearts and in their homes. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you. I will see you Sunday maybe at church. If not, I look forward to seeing you online. God bless you.